In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Boink's FX Tiles. FX Tiles is a set of effects and transitions that feature excellent 3D shattering and tiling. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but these transitions also work in Motion and After Effects as well. I've got three clips on my timeline. First, let's take a look at the Boinks effects, available in the Effects Browser under Boinks. With scrubbing turned on and my first clip selected, I can move my mouse over the effects to get a preview of what they do. Flip 3D has tiles that flip. Shatter 3D has tiles that explode. Spread 3D breaks apart the image into tiles. Let's drag this effect on my first clip. In the inspector, let's take a look at the parameters. First off, we have control over the number of rows and columns that the tiles will spread into. I can increase the rows slider to turn the video into long horizontal bars, or the columns slider to turn them into vertical bars. I like the original effect for this clip, but I'm going to slightly decrease the amount of rows and columns from the default to give me bigger, chunkier tiles. For animation curve, I tend to like quadratic in-out, which is an ease-in, ease-out animation. The start at percentage is a handy slider. I'll move the wiper on the timeline to the spot in the clip where I'd like the animation to start and adjust the slider accordingly. Adjusting the minimum and maximum depth to a wider amount will make my animation a little more dramatic, as the tiles moving backwards and the tiles moving forwards will do so at a greater amount. The last tweak I'd like to make is to the visibility setting. I'll change it to Fade Out, which will fade the effect at the end. Lastly, I'll turn Motion Blur on. I'll set the quality to high as I worry less about render time in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's drop the Shatter 3D effect on my next clip. You can see it's got some very similar parameters. To make this go nicely with the effect on the previous clip, I'll change the animation curve to quadratic in-out. I'll move the end at percentage slider back about halfway. I'll check the reverse animation box so this clip rebuilds itself from a shattered state. Then I'll select the fade out option for the visibility, which really fades in because we're reversed. Next are the controls for the particle system. The X, Y, and Z angle sliders control the range of rotation for the particles. Similarly, the Z position sliders control the amount of backwards or forwards motion on the Z axis. For example, this effect would have all of the particles explode forwards if these are both positive values, or backwards if they were both negative values. Lastly, I'll turn motion blur on for a little more added realism. I'll quickly show you the transitions you get with FX Tiles. In the Transitions browser, under Boinks, you can see two Shatter and Rebuild transitions. One of them features a fade in the middle. Let's use that one since it'll match the effects we've already used. I'll hit Ctrl D and change the duration of the transition to one and a half seconds to give it a little more room to shatter. The parameters are essentially the same as the effects we just used. As before, I'll turn on Motion Blur. Boink's Effects Tiles offers a quick and easy way to add some dramatic 3D action to your clips. A free trial is available. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.